our, one of our victims was an elderly lady who had lost her entire life savings. And she was not alone. Investigators say thousands have been duped by vending machine scams in the U.S. In most cases, the con men make big promises. Our suspect was a, a very savvy, uh, confidence man. Uh, when he approached the potential investors, our victims, uh, he told them that they could double their money. In this case, the suspect promised he would help investors set up their own vending machine company, and they would get high returns if they allowed him to teach them the ropes. As they gave him their initial investment, he would come back to them, telling them that he needed more money on top of the startup money to get the business up and running. The truth is, in this case, there was no business. He was just stealing their money. Postal inspectors started tracking him when they learned he was sending bogus business letters through the mail. Basically followed our suspect and found him in Las Vegas. He was an avid gambler and that's what he was doing with a lot of the money. Investigators say vending machine scams are common and growing in popularity. Some important things to remember. Do your homework. Contact the Better Business Bureau to find if the company is legitimate. Consult a financial advisor or lawyer before any money is exchanged or signing any agreement. Ask the company to confirm earning claims in writing.